Hey. Yes. Find him. Something's out there. Should have known. I had no choice. Hey. Come on, boy. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Stay safe, buddy.
nice. Got it. There we go.
Come here again if you need to meet us. We'll know you're coming. We made a good team. The best. See you soon. And the new guy patched me up, put me on his shoulder, and blasted his way through the rest of the complex. Synths everywhere. Carrying you the whole time? Amazing, right? That's one word for it. Deacon told me you single-handedly secured Carrington's prototype, disabled a minefield, and wiped out a hundred Gen 1s. So is any of that true? Every word he said was true, and then some. If you didn't have the prototype, I'd think you're both lying through your teeth. See? Just like I said, boss. I was expecting Deacon to grab a full team, including Glory, to secure that prototype. But instead, just the two of you cleared out the entire switchboard. You'd be insane not to sign him up, Des. You've certainly made an impression on Deacon. He's never spoken about, or lied about, anyone so highly before. Welcome to the railroad, Agent. Glad to be aboard. It seems we're very lucky to have you. So you're in. Now we need to know what to call you. Secrecy keeps us alive. Code names are a part of that. So what's yours? Call me... Fixer. Fixer certainly seems an apt name. Your first official order is to deliver Dr. Carrington his prototype and see if he can use another pair of hands. But first, it's time to meet the rest of the gang. The location of our HQ is one of our most tightly guarded places, so be careful coming in or out. You never can tell when you're being watched. Use the back entrance. Testimony told me to give you this. An extraordinary feat to recover this. But that's hardly the point. Without a lick of training, and us knowing hardly anything about you, Des has invited you to join HQ. It would have been nice if she had consulted with her second in command. But what's done is done. Since you're here now, we might as well put you to work. Tell me what you need, Doc. One of our field agents, Old Man Stockton, needs help with a runaway synth. H222. So headquarters, as always, puts out the fires that others can't be bothered to put out themselves. The paranoid old bat won't even tell us the problem. He insists that we get our intel from a dead drop. Sounds like an important mission. It is. After switchboard, we're so short-handed I have little choice but to throw you into the deep end. The dead drop is a mailbox with a rail sign on it. It's a common means of communication for us, so keep an eye out for them. When you make contact with Stockton, he won't give you the time of day unless you give him the proper countersign. The current sign is, do you have a Geiger counter? And the counter is, mine is in the shop. Please tell me Deacon taught you that at least. You can trust me with this. I'll get it done. You sound rather convincing, actually. Stockton is a prominent businessman at Bunker Hill. The dead drop will be near there. Use the escape tunnel in the back to get there quicker. from Stanwood Safehouse. 
No change. So the tallies are three MIA and six dead. Now they find switch. We tarried over long. All it takes is one person. Glad you're with us. Do we have any leads on the next HQ? Never you mind that. There we go. Go along now. Got a lot of synths in play right now. Makes things really dangerous. It's not an easy road you've chosen. Hi. But you're never Welcome to the family. Way. We're a colorful and arguably insane bunch. But you're stuck with us now. Speaking of which, if you don't mind a sidekick, let's keep a good thing going and travel together some more. Let's go then. I'm all ready to go. Hey, Rook. The name's Drummer Boy. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. I don't suppose you want to switch places. That can be an important job. Yeah, right. I can be replaced by a stupid chalkboard. We'll be seeing each other. A lot. Hey. Mm hmm? Grab anything useful. I'll get her Wait done. there. Absolutely. And my eagerness is totally unrelated to wanting to smoke bread. Come on. What's the word? What's on your mind? We should go our separate ways. Been nice traveling with you. I'm sure I'll see you again. I'm like a bad penny. I'll keep turning up. Glad you saw. Find on. I might get to take the occasional night off. Desdemona. Working with compartmentalized information is a difficult transition for new agents. You gotta be careful, man. The Institute is everywhere. Hi. The census sweep says you're clean. Hooray! We're bug free. Analysis using Dubrovian method. Pam. Processing. Agent. Fixer. Your arrival was not calculated. That's a strange way to say hello. Temporarily unable to process verbal input. Still processing. Preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was. Am and will most likely be Pam, predictive analytic machine. Well, nice to meet you, Pam. Introductory token recognized. Nice to meet you, too. Unknown entity, I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region, designated Commonwealth. Rephrasing, I predict the future. What? That's amazing. Caution. Biological life forms behave erratically, unpredictably. All output subject to an extremely high margin of error. Even if you're wrong sometimes, that's unbelievable. Repeat. Caution. Reliance on this unit's predictions is deemed unwise. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query, what is your point of origin? I'm from Vault 111, if that's what you mean. Accessing Vault 111. Cryo Vault. Believed destroyed. Conversation terminated. Pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing. Goodbye. Pam. Solving for theta n when 
mine approaches probability bounds. Are you injured? It's a wonder you and Glory don't set off metal detector. Yeah, see what's wrong. What's feeling off today? I think I soaked up some rads out there. We'll clean you up. Don't... And that's that. Anything? Hurting all over, Doc. Scrapes and bruises. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? No other complaints. All right. Things are quiet, for now. <clears throat> hey, I got everything you field agent types need. Even a few Tinker Tom speciality aids. <laughs> Show me what you got. Made a new batch of whatnots for you. Hello. You need anything? I'll take a look. Made a new batch of whatnots for you. Based off what Deacon said, I expect to break things here.
raider. I'm here on my own. Freelance, huh? All right. Come on in, but no gunfire. Market's open. You can do as much trading as you like. You got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. I don't mind danger. So long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me. But you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Hi, I'm Meg. Me new to the hill? For 10 caps, I can give you the tour. Nobody knows a place like me. Any chance I can get it for free? Fine. The market's in the back, bar's in the corner, and the outhouse is over the wall. Bye. Welcome, my friend. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone of the uh, feminine persuasion. You're with our mutual friends, yes? That's right. It's always nice to make new friends. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new... So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. No one likes delays. It's bad for business. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby, but raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... So, I just need to wipe out a few raiders. Done. <laughs> I like you already. We're supposed to make the delivery at night. So once you clear out the undesirables, we'll meet after the sun sets. Uh. <clears throat> Is that a pit boy? I haven't seen one of those in forever. Hey. Huh. Haven't seen you before. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. Tempted to join the railroad with all this shit. I don't hey, know. You. People gotta do something. Talk Dad. some sense into my numb skull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. You should look after yourself. See? Now that's some advice. We got a business. You know how lucky we are? And you wanna throw it away. All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rot gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sense? Might as well go off and join the Death Claw Preservation Society. 
Synths are weapons built by the Institute. You don't know that. You see, boy? Now stop this nonsense. We got customers. Hey. Bar's open. Just don't get so drunk you shoot up the place. Let's see what you got. I can't promise it'll be cold, but at least the drinks are wet. from the Commonwealth here. Benefit of being the... You have any work? Well, there is one thing. Dad, you're not gonna send him on that same wild goose chase. Hey, he brought it up, not me. As I was saying, before us Savaldi started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, he didn't mean the world to me. If the price is right, I might help. Malden ain't the safest of places. I suppose I could spare 200 caps. I'll find your grandpa. Just be careful, all right? I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. Ahem. <laughs> Need a place to stay? Grab it before someone else does. Fine. Here's your caps. Stockton snores. You've been warned.